All right. So the other day, I was uh out in the I was out in a supermarket shop in a local supermarket, and they had the tenderloin, the fillets, the big whole fillets, on sale for seven ninety nine a pound. It's hard to beat that price. I've seen it one time go on sale for five ninety nine a pound, and that was an anomaly. If I would have, if I would have, could have, shoulda, I'd have goddamn bought every one of them. Cause I buy them and I cut them into fr freezer packs, and as you can see right here, I freeze them. I do the same thing with uh, hamburger meat when I find special. See, that's some fillet right there. And, Boston butt and some more Boston butt, but whenever I see something on a sale, I buy it and I freeze it. But what I like to do is trim it up. And when you take the trimmings and you pass them through a meat grinder, and you end up with some of the best ground that you ever had for making hamburgers. If you ain't ever ground your trimmings from your, if you do buy fillets, if you never ground your trimmings. You're missing out on one of the better parts of the the whole piece of meat. I got some from before that I had done. So I'm going to mix that in. I had that frozen so it looks a little worse. But it's still good. And this is some real good stuff here. So I'm going to go ahead and grind it up. And I'm going to save it for another day. It's miserable out here today as it is all over the... As it is all over the... Uh, it's miserable out here as it is all over the country right now. You can't really tell, but that's all ice all over them trees. You can see a little bit of it on the ground. But for over here, you know, uh, it. the first year we came out here, it snowed a lot. It, it snowed pretty rough and uh, got cold. But it didn't even get as cold as it's going to get over here this tonight. So it's supposed to get down around 13 degrees. That's To us, that's insanely cold. I know other people know how to deal with that, but in the South, we don't know how to deal with that so well. So anyway, I'm home today because I wanted to monitor everything. I didn't want to get on the road because I got to cross a number of bridges. And uh, I didn't want to get on the road and get stuck far away from the house and something goes wrong. Like pipes start freezing or something. I need to run. The power goes out. I need to run a generator. Something like that. I, I wanted to be here so anyway uh, I'm off today and tomorrow since it's gonna be the two coldest days and uh, just do what I can around the house oh. It's going to be a real fast process because it's going to take it long. All right, about less than three minutes of grinding. Got me a nice bowl of ground filet. Now, there's a high fat content in there, but oh, you make hamburgers with that? Oh my goodness. You ain't now ever had a hamburger that tasted so good in all your life filet your hamburger that's what that is so if you are throwing away your trimmings i mean from any of your meat if you trim if you get a whole piece of meat and you trim it and you don't grind it you're missing out missing out terribly all right i'm gonna clean the uh grinder up and then come and package this meat i can leave it out because it's so cold I got the little uh, wood burning stove trying to, to go to fight the cold. It's not too bad in here, but outside it's frosty. All right, talk to you later. All right, this is the end. Uh, burgers packaged away. I got 10 nice, beautiful burgers. It's having a problem with my sealer. That's why you see all this blood everywhere. It just, I got to get a new sealer. But there you go. Beautiful, beautiful fillet burgers. 
and uh, put on the top, top, well, I put it on the top shelf, but top shelf is right there. Top of these burgers, so we know to use them first. Yum yum. These burgers right here, are delicious. All of these saved away. One more quick thing. I had a coworker give me four packs of these big five, five packs of these big giant hot dogs, and. Uh, we usually don't eat just any old hot dogs, but these are actually pretty good. And uh, I've had them, and they, they're not bad. Uh, Gluten-free, no MSG. Pretty pretty good ham, I mean, hot dogs. But uh, I got one more. Well, I have an open pack in there, but I'm throwing those. I'm going to use that for bait for something. The, uh, the other ones are... Uh, are good that that pack been open for a while so I think it's not good but that other pack I, I got and I have been putting away hot dogs y'all can see that's hot dogs hot dogs hot dogs uh, hot dogs hot dogs hot dogs hot dogs I've been putting away hot dogs I'm not letting I don't let food go go away go to bad and I'm a I'm gonna find a way to save it I mean, and she had this sausage in there. I ain't never had this kind of sausage before, but how can you turn down smoked sausage? No, I'm not. That's some of my own homemade smoked sausage right there. This right here is some homemade deer sausage. Boy, that stuff is gold. Yummy, yummy. And uh, here's some uh, breakfast sausage. I got these on sale. Uh... I, I showed that before, I believe. I got some in there. I got a whole bunch. I got plenty all over the place. But uh, I got that on sale for, I think, 59 cent a pack. Is that crazy? Uh, one time I got them on 99 cent. The next time I went back at 59 cent. I bought as many as I could tolerate. As many as I could uh, find a place for at the time. So, anyway... I'm doing these hot dogs. I just wanted people to see, you know. Uh, I was showing you filet before, and now I'm showing you <laughs> hot dogs, poor man food, and rich man food. Whatever, I never want to buy full price, and I never let anything go to waste either. So, that filet, usually $15.99 a pound. I got it for $7.99 a pound. Two for one now. And uh, this right here, free free that girl got this her neighbor got it and gave it to her and he got it from some church group giving away free food listen people i i'm glad to have these and i'm glad she found me to give them to because i will do something with them but there's a lot of this going around i'm hearing a lot about it um people go and pick up a lot of free food people trying to help help out individuals during the pandemic if you are going to just go pick up something because it's free, leave it for someone else. Someone that will want it and use it. Uh, my colleague took it because this guy was just trying to get rid of it. Why did he pick that up? Why did he? Why, why would he go and take that food just because he could? Someone else probably needed that. Uh, uh, there's a lot of that going on right now, and I don't agree with it. I'm glad to have this. My family will eat it. It'll go into my preps. I got plenty of freezer space. I got freezers after freezers after freezers. And they all full. But I'm, I mean, we eat out of them. So I find room all the time. I make room. So that, I was just, you know, I couldn't believe that someone picked up five packs of hot dogs. And, I mean, this is like, I don't know, 50 in a pack. And uh, a bunch of smoked sausage in... Oh, I don't really want it. Well, why did you take it? You should have left it for someone that would, a family that would really need this. Anyway, I, I'm glad to have it. All right, I'll talk to you later.